Mars. Earthlings Welcome by Stacy McAnulty, illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Mars. Earthlings Welcome. From the series Our Universe, Mars. Earthlings Welcome. By Mars, with Stacy McAnulty, illustrated by Mars and Stevie Lewis. You're invited. Mission to Mars. When? As soon as possible, but probably not for a few decades. Where? On Mars, of course. Hello, inhabitants of Earth, or as she calls herself, Planet Awesome. I'm formally inviting you to visit me, Planet Marvelous. Let me introduce myself. I am Magnificent Mars, favorite sibling of Earth. Fourth planet from the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Second smallest in the solar system, must be this tall to ride. You've spent so much time on Earth, probably your whole life, it's time to visit me. Some people have been to Earth's moon, but no one has ever been to another planet. And I'm a planet. A party planet. I want to be the first planet with human guests. How to be a planet in our solar system? Orbit sun. Be round. Don't be a dwarf planet. Sorry, Pluto. How to be a party planet? Invite friends. Be classy, not gassy. Like Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. I'm close to you. Sort of. Depending on my orbit. Earth and me at our closest, 34 million miles apart. But sometimes, siblings need space, and we're 250 million miles apart. You'll love it here. I'm like Earth, kinda, only better. For example, my day is longer, 37 minutes longer. Earth, one spin, 24 hours. Me, one spin, 24 hours and 37 minutes. Think of what you can do with 37 extra minutes. Sleep in, enjoy more screen time, eat junk food, whatever you want. And I have two moons. I know Earth is totally jealous. Say hi to Phobos and Deimos. You might mistake them for ginormous potatoes. Nope, they're natural satellites. When you come, bring a camera. There's so much to see. Guess who has the largest volcano in the whole solar system? Not Earth. Me. Olympus Mons is 16 miles tall. Earth's biggest active volcano, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, is not even half that height. Do you like stunning views? Valles Marinus is four times as deep as the Grand Canyon. And not nearly as crowded. Great place for a selfie. Along with your camera, don't forget to BYOO. -O. That means bring your own oxygen. Because, well, I don't have much. Just a trace. Pack water, too. Because all of mine is frozen. Scientists think I had liquid water millions, maybe billions, of years ago when I was warmer. Lakes, rivers, oceans. Today, I'll admit, Earth totally wins when it comes to liquid H2O. She's a better planet for swimming. Yep, Earth is blue and known for her water, especially her ocean. I'm red, not because I'm hot. My average temperature is negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the South Pole in winter. I'm red, not because I'm mad. But that's probably why Earthlings named me after the Roman god of war. War, blood, anger, you get it. I'm red because my soil is full of iron. Rusty iron. Earth and I, we're rocky, rugged planets. Mercury and Venus, too. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are gas giants. And like Earth, and, and like Earth, I have polar ice caps. I have mountains. I have clouds. And I have dreams. Dreams of big-brained visitors who want to travel to miraculous Mars. If you think parties on Earth are fun, just you wait. But this invitation isn't for my birthday. I don't know why I'm, I don't know my exact birthday. I'm about 4.5 billion years old. Like all the planets in our solar system. 
if you want to celebrate me, March is my month. However, you can visit me anytime. I've had visitors from Earth in the past, but none with a heartbeat. In 1965, the U.S. spacecraft Mariner 4, my first flyby, it came within 6,118 miles and took 22 pictures. I hope it got my good side. In 1971, Mars 3, a Soviet craft, actually landed on my surface and operated for a whole 20 seconds. In 2004, NASA sent me new friends, Spirit and Opportunity. These cute rovers were expected to play and explore for only 90 days, but I'm so impressive they scampered around way longer. Spirit, 6 years. Opportunity, almost 15 years. This little guy traveled 28 miles. That's longer than a marathon. Still, I long for you humans with your curious minds, your five senses, and your love of parties. Imagine the things we'll learn. Imagine the fun we'll have. So what are you waiting for? Come to the remarkable Mars. Let's get this party started. As soon as your spaceship's ready. New technology required. Dear potential Mars visitors, Earthlings have yet to set foot on Mars, but it's on our to-do list. NASA currently has a long-term goal of sending astronauts to explore the red planet, though this will be decades in the making. What steps must we take that can happen? First, we need to know whether there has ever been life on Mars. Second, we need more information about the climate. Third, we have to continue exploring the geography. Ultimately, and hopefully, this will take us to the final phase, human visitors. Our first human to Mars trip is certain to be long, dangerous, and amazing. So, who wants to go? Sincerely, Stacy McAnulty, author and wannabe Martian astronaut. P.S. Every day, scientists are learning more and more about our solar system. Yay, science! So some details may change as our knowledge expands. But hey, that's to be expected, right? Mars or Earth or both? Who can claim the following statements? Number one. Two is better than one, especially when it comes to moons. Mars. He has two oblong moons, Phobos and Deimos. Phobos, the longer satellite, is gradually moving closer to Mars. Smaller Deimos is moving farther away. Earth and her one moon are BFFs. Number two. My ice caps are totally cool. Get it? Cool? Both. Mars has ice caps at both his north and south poles. Earth also has ice caps, though they are smaller than those of Mars. And she has giant ice sheets in the Antarctic, in Antarctica and Greenland. These ice sheets hold 99% of Earth's fresh water supply. Number three. Maybe my magnetic personality is because of my magnetic field. Earth. A compass on Earth will point towards the magnetic North Pole. Earth's magnetic field isn't just good for directions. It also helps keep the planet safe from solar radiation. Mars does not have a magnetic field now but evidence shows that he had one in the past. Number four. Canals are human-made rivers, and I've got them. Earth. Earth's famous canals include the Suez, Erie, Grand, and Panama. In 1906, Percival Lowell wrote a book titled Mars and Its Canals, in which he claimed that the planet had Martian-made waterways. He considered this evidence of ancient life on Mars. Percival was wrong. <laughs> Number five. Humans named me after a Roman god. Mars. Mars was the Roman god of war. Phobos is Greek for fear, and Deimos is Greek for terror. War, fear, terror. Quite a scary trio of names. Earth is just named for Earth. Number six. I'm a rock star. Um, okay, not a star, but a rocky planet. Both. Mars and Earth are terrestrial or rocky planets. 
They have a core, a mantle, a crust, and some form of atmosphere. Mercury and Venus are also in this rock group. Rock on! Mars by the numbers. 4. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. 142 million. The average distance between Sun and Mars is 142 million miles. To compare, Sun and Earth are 93 million miles apart. 1,477. A Martian day, one rotation on his axis, is 1,477 minutes, or 24 hours and 37 minutes. 687. A Martian year is approximately 687 Earth days long. 4,220. Mars diameter is 4,220 miles, which is a little over half of Earth's diameter. 34 million. The closest Earth and Mars get is 34 million miles apart. 250 million. Earth and Mars can be too can be 250 million miles apart when at opposite sides of the solar system. A Brief History of Humans and Mars Since Mars is visible with the naked eye, it does not have a date of discovery or a discoverer. 1610, Galileo observed Mars through a telescope. 1877, Asaf Hall discovered Mars's moons. July 14, 1965, the U.S. spacecraft Mariner 4 took the first close-up pictures of Mars. December 2, 1971, the Soviet probe Mars 3 made the first soft landing on Mars and operated for 20 seconds. January to March, 1989, the Soviet craft Phobos 2 orbited Mars and Phobos, transmitting information for several days before malfunctioning. July 4, 1997, NASA's Mars Pathfinder landed and deployed Sojourn, the first wheeled rover, which explored for 83 days. January 3, 2004 NASA's rover Spirit landed on Mars, and three weeks later Opportunity touched down on the opposite side of the planet. Both rovers were designed for 80, for 90-day missions, but Spirit operated until March 2010 and Opportunity until June 2018. 2020 and beyond. NASA's Mars Exploration Program, MEP, is a multi-step mission to learn more about Mars and ultimately prepare for human exploration.